Yes, at last, Martin Show won the election again. Well, does it matter? No, it doesn't matter who wins the presidency. Martin Show, Charging One, or anyone next time. As we all know, Taiwan exercise is one of the modern politics in Asia. That is direct elections of all kinds. Its voting rate is high. For example, nearly 80% for the presidential elections. You may wonder, or anyone may wonder, if Taiwan's future is lacking anything. Since the outbreak of the Korean War, the US has been intervening in the Chinese politics. When every time there is a cost rate crisis, the US 7 feet will be deployed to cruise along the street to safeguard the island. Someone says Taiwan's futures is some kind of gambling. We want to find out. Anyone here in Taiwan also want to find out by whom Taiwan's future is fake. Mainland Chinese, Americans or Taiwan inhabitants themselves. In recent years, governments in the so-called modern states fall one after one. No single party can win the overwhelming support. Such phenomenon indicates the ends of modern politics and the rise of postmodern politics. Whereas modern politics is in crisis, coalition governments seem to become a technical and tactical solution to the crisis of modern politics. But on the other hand, participatory politics represents how democracies and freedoms are practiced to the utmost within the frameworks of institutional politics. Participatory politics everywhere in the world seems like a carnival and contents of politics just does not matter. The building behind me is Executive Yuan, where institutional politics and government policies start with. And this is the results of institutional politics. What is it? This is the discontent and politics of anything that you can think of. This writing appears to me as an evidence of the failures of modern politics. You may not agree with me, but the fact is, modern politics does not satisfy everyone. Can modern politics solve problems and make a better future? Can elections of all kinds determine Taiwan's future? I think before we can answer all this, Perhaps we also need to ask who is in charge of Taiwan's futures? Do the average people know about Taiwan's future? Here we are in Kaohsiung. Let's find out how Kaohsiung people can comprehend Taiwan's future. Chao Yim, can you ask Kaohsiung people who is in charge of Taiwan's future? Yes, I'm here in Kaohsiung, a stronghold of Democratic Progress Party, DPP. Who do you think can determine Taiwan's future? I don't know. Who can determine Taiwan's future? Of course we, the people. All of us. Ma Yingzhou. <laughs> Who do you think can determine Taiwan's future? Everybody. Bing Lam, can you ask Taipei people if they know who determines Taiwan's future? And here is an election ballot. You can see the people are fanatic. Who will be in charge of Taiwan's future? Uh, Dr. Tsai is an outstanding leader, so I support Dr. Dr. Tsai. Who is in charge of Taiwan's future? Uh, Tsai Ing-wen. Who can determine Taiwan's future? Of course, Taiwan inhabitants themselves. For you, can you ask anyone anywhere in Taiwan? Who do you think can determine Taiwan's future? Who can? Me. Who do you think can determine Taiwan's future? I don't know. Who do you think can determine Taiwan's future? Who do you think can determine Taiwan's future? What? I don't think anyone can. One characteristic, if not symptoms, of Taiwan's postmodern politics is no one ever is satisfied and no one is absolutely right. 
politics does not matter anymore because no one will satisfy no one. Just like any other postmodern societies, there is nothing that formal or institutional politics in Taiwan can do. In the following four years, protests and petitions will certainly appear one after one. Demonstration and rally will also come again and again. A change of government cannot solve problems. It seems there is no solution to Taiwan's future so long as Americans intervene in the Chinese politics. But the fact is, whoever wins, politics goes on. Andy Chan, Chihuahua News, Taiwan.